Ethernet is the most widely used form of data transfer between the router and your PC or laptop. These cables offer a stable and fast connection between the connected devices. For gaming, it's crucial to have an internet connection that maintains speed and stability. Ethernet cables are vastly superior to Wi-Fi in this aspect. Ethernet cables have evolved, offering speeds starting from 10 base 5 at just 10 megabits per second to the latest ones now offering speeds of a whopping 400 gigabits per second. The most widely used Ethernet cable is the CAT5e, but CAT8 is now becoming the choice for most newer installations. In this video, I tested the speeds of both CAT5e and CAT8 cables in a typical home or small office scenario. In my previous video, I had compared CAT5e, CAT6, and CAT7, but there were several comments that the cable length was not specified or that because all three cables were short, they would have similar speeds. For reference, the cables in the earlier video were all 25 feet long. In this video, I quadrupled the cable lengths to 100 feet each and performed similar tests using iPerf3 and Speedtest, both desktop applications. The iPerf3 program was used to test data transfer speeds between a PC and a laptop connected via the Ethernet cables iPerf is a free utility that tests network speeds between two connected computers. The link for the utility is given in the description below. Both the laptop and computer had 2.5 gigabit rated network adapters. For each cable, the test was run for 25 seconds. The CAT5e cable's average data transfer rate was 2.24 gigabits per second, and an average of 6.51 gigabytes of data was transferred. The CAT8 cable's average data transfer rate was 2.32 gigabits per second, and an average of 6.75 gigabytes of data was transferred. These results were almost identical and showed that the main bottleneck in this test was the max speed of our network adapter, which caps out at 2.5 gigabits per second. Our next real-world test uses the Speedtest desktop application to test if the two different cables can keep up with the gigabit internet speeds from our router. Speedtest is a free application that is widely used to test internet speed between your device and an internet server. This 1 gigabit internet allows us to do thorough testing of the wires, while also highlighting a more common use case of Ethernet cables, which is a direct connection between your device and a router. We also made sure to keep the testing server the same between the two tests. You can see in almost all the tests, the maximum upload speed was around the 30 megabits per second mark while the maximum download speed was around 930 megabits per second. This matches the rated maximum download and upload speeds of our connection. The previous video had shown that CAT5e is good enough at 2.5 gigabits per second, but there were some doubts on the length of the cable used. However, in today's test, with 100 feet of cable, the same results were present. CAT6 was not tested, as it more than likely would have given the same results. Here are the prices of the cables on Amazon. As you can see, CAT6 is marginally more expensive than CAT5e, and technical specifications put this at a much higher speed rating than CAT5e, while CAT8 is the most expensive cable of all. The theoretical upper speed of CAT6 is 10 gigabits per second, and CAT8 is 40 gigabits per second. If you're installing new wiring, CAT6 would be our personal recommendation, unless the wiring is done for a huge data center or office. In that case, CAT8 should be considered. Average internet speeds still hover around the 66 megabits per second mark, and there are only a few providers offering speeds up to 2 gigabits per second. So, CAT6 will still be more than capable of handling these higher speeds. For such speeds, however, the routers and network cards should also be upgraded to take advantage of fast downloads. A few of the recommended routers and network cards in the link below. In summary, for network upgrades, unless you are upgrading to more than 2.5 gigabit per second internet, CAT5e should continue to work just as well as CAT6 or CAT8. However, CAT6 slash CAT6a cables still get our personal recommendation. I'm also planning a 10 gigabit per second test to check network adapters and Ethernet cables, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay notified whenever new videos are posted. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and comment down below which Ethernet cable you're planning to purchase. Thanks for watching!